all right guys this is Stephen Gogo technical analyst of LS blue so in this video I'll discuss about bank nifty so this is bank nifty and the daily chart you can see as we discussed yesterday we have seen one black crow pattern and when they are forming this type of pattern it is a probability to reverse back market from that area but you can see yesterday from this area they have given little more correction and after that price again push up from this area but if you want to see here in a daily chart bank nifty is running in uptrend that is the important thing and if bank nifty is running in uptrend where is our resistance remember we must have find out the resistance and the support so we have seen around 31,700 that is a resistance 31,700 right that is a resistance level somewhere here now when price is running in an uptrend they are targeting toward this level so that means if you want to buy so we must close our position in that area right i'm talking about uh, like a resist a resistance right now all right so let me show you um, in a four hour chart how it should look like so as we discussed earlier video in a four hour chart still they are running in a uptrend eh? in a range so let me show you the range exactly so we have seen uh, prices running in this range right here we can see high low create higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high and higher low now they are targeting toward this area all right let me show you now according to the according to the four hour chart we have seen some candlestick pattern here and if you want to see according to the moving average behavior 20 moving average are leading the price right now that means price is bouncing from moving average when price create a new high and push down toward the moving average and again push up create a new high again you can see here push down toward this uh, 20 moving average and push up somewhere here we have seen price push down toward this moving average and trying to push up so if price goes toward upside where is our target target is somewhere 31700 all right now question is that where is our entry point for the enter we are looking for two trading strategy here we will use one that is called breakout trading strategy and another uh, trend continue or uh, trend uh, moving average bounce back trading strategy we will use two trading strategy let me show you now for the breakout trading strategy we are going to connect previous higher point I drawn a horizontal line around 31,160 have you seen I drawn a resistance line that means once price break this level we are going to take buy that trading strategy is called breakout trading strategy that means price going to break this previous higher point so we will start buy and target will be somewhere here around 31,000 all right so next trading strategy we will use uh, bouncing trading strategy or trend continue trading strategy so for the for that trading strategy we have to see 15 minute chart now have you seen in a 15 minute chart we have uh, seen like that all right so first breakout uh, trading strategy we have seen here have you seen let me draw yeah so here you can see i connect most recent point here right or you can say like that if you wanna connect here 
So I want to connect more recent point, at least three point. Have you seen? That was our buy opportunity. Why? Because we have seen that was multiple rejection from this area. Right. Price drop down again, reverse back. Reject from this area again, drop down, hit and reverse back after that. Price broke the, uh, that level. Have you seen? We have three multiple rejection in this area. Have you seen? That was a breakout trading strategy first. Next, you can see uh, in this area we have seen confirmation. Have you seen? Percentage R and trend line are broke in that area. So let me tell you another most of the people uh, have confused in this area. All right, I want to connect the most recent higher point. Suppose uh, here, forget it in this area. Okay, forget it in this area. Okay, I'm not talking uh, in this area. So most of the fact point, how we uh, filter that fact point, let me show you. On a connect, most recent, suppose here we have seen, uh, just a minute, okay. Here we have seen most recent point and here somewhere we have seen most recent point. Have you seen? I just connected two recent point. But by using these two recent point, this one and this one, now you can see here we have seen a breakout, fake breakout. Remember, once they appear, we placing buy order little more above that candle. This candle was a higher uh, point are there and we place little more buy, they didn't trigger. And uh, similarly, at that time, percentage R are not able to break this level. Is it clear? All right. So that is, uh, that was our not a buy opportunity. All right. So next, let me show you. Uh, here we can see we connect the most recent touches point here. All right. First touch, second touch, and uh, some here third touch. When they broke this line, have you seen percentage are also cross. So that means we filtered here and that is our buy opportunity. Now we are looking for a breakout trading strategy all right uh, so i told two trading strategy we're gonna use today so first so we are looking for a candle open and close should be above this resistance line similarly we will place our buy order above that candle and the target will be somewhere here uh, there somewhere there around uh, 31,700, whatever. That was our first buy and breakout trading strategy. And we will use if price continue from this area, if price not retrace, uh, doing retracement from this area, if price continue toward upside, then we will use that trading strategy. Next. Now I can see we are looking for a moving average bounce back trading strategy. Let me show you moving average. So this blue line, suppose moving average is running like that. All right, running like that. All right. So in that case, we are looking for a bounce back trading strategy. Right, like when they will retrace toward this moving average, that is our buy opportunity. When price will hit and reverse back, when they will retrace toward this moving average, that is our buy opportunity. Remember. And at that time, we are using some candlestick pattern, bullish candlestick pattern above this 20 moving average, right? Here also moving average 20 and we are looking for a bullish candlestick pattern. All right. Uh, that is our basic trading strategy. And if you want to for the sell direction, we are looking for breakout this lower point around uh, 30,500 or 400, right? So it is too far from this area. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.